So now that we've put in the motion of the boss, now let's work on the boss's attack. Again, this is like an old school 2D shooter, so it's not going to be very complex. It's just to give you the idea of the functionality, and then you can elaborate from there. So at the very beginning of the series, we imported this image. Just like the boss image, I reduced the pixels per unit to make it a little bit bigger. This is going to be the enemy's uh, attack. So drag and drop that into the hierarchy. And again, we're going to make this into a prefab. We just need to attach a few things first. So for this, we're going to add Physics 2D's Circle Collider. That looks about right. We don't want to be uh, too particular. It's not like it's really large, so it's relatively easy, avoidable, easily avoided. Next, we're going to add a rigid body 2D with zero gravity scale. So, circle collider so it can, as the name suggests, collide with another object. Rigid body so we can add physics. And at the moment, I believe we can do without any script on it. So let's take that bullet, drag and drop it into our asset area, and now we have a new prefab. So what we need to happen is for the boss to be able to shoot the bullet. So that means the boss object needs to be aware of the bullet object. So as we've done in the past, we're going to add a variable and then link the bullet object to that variable. So let's go to level boss is already open. So public transform Save that. Now we click on our boss object. And there's new new variable. Drag and drop the bullet prefab onto it. Now the boss needs to be able to instantiate that. And needs to instantiate it at a certain interval. So gonna need another timer here. So this will be a float. We'll call it shot timer. Shot timer plus equals time dot delta time. Again, the change in time and this is the cumulative change in time. Now when when the functionality starts getting complex, like this is the motion of the enemy, the boss, and now we're going to have a series of commands for the attacks. The best practice is eventually the update you don't do these direct in the update. What you do is you make your own custom subroutine and then you simply have a command that goes out to that subroutine so it's easier to determine what's going on because looking at this it's really not uh, self-documenting. Whereas if you create a bunch of subroutines then all you see in update is um, run movement subroutine, run bullet subroutine and then you know that's exactly what that subroutine does so just food for thought for later development maybe I'll do a video series that shows about creating subroutines so if shot timer is greater than let's give it three seconds so every three seconds it will shoot Instantiate. Where's it going to instantiate the bullet? Where's it going to instantiate it? So vector three. Because 
once the boss finishes moving horizontally, it stays at the same horizontal position. So that should be a constant, not a variable. This is the one that should be a variable. And we'll see if it lets us do this. Then the rotation of the bullet. So very messy to look at, but presuming it actually lets us do this, what this is saying is, okay, so here is the position. So you're saying, okay, it's a new three vector position, x, y, and z. This is the x, a constant. The y is a calculation saying, okay, let's look at the y coordinate of this object and use that for the y position because it's constantly moving up and down. And then the z axis is just zero. So, and actually, so what's going to happen is since this starts. at five, it's motion. We're gonna see a few bullets before it gets under the screen, but that's okay, we can do this a test. Uh, 4317, and it's just no semicolon. Actually, one more thing, and that's bullet. Get components. Forgot to give it its motion. Could do that with a script attached to the bullet as well. So again, six one way, one half dozen the other. Uh, I tend to like to attach the processing of an object to the object. So technically, I would add a script. But there's so little else to be done that I'm thinking that in this case, the cleaner thing to do is just to put it here. So again, we're using a get component just to access a component. And then we're giving it its, its velocity. Okay, now we have to do something to prevent this from spamming bullets. So shot timer needs to be reset. Alright, so shot timer, timer is grid in three, instantiate the bullet, give it velocity, Actually, let's just do it. We don't have that many scripts, so it's not a big deal. So we'll go to our bullet, add component, new script, bullet control. All right, so a few things. We don't want them to be solid. We want them to be triggers. Because I don't think she is a trigger. 
she is not. So let's make the bullet a trigger. And now we're back on the bullet control. And if actually outside of the update, let's do uh on trigger enter 2d collider 2d other if other dot name equals we're just in the debug log put a message that says they've been hit so we reverse course we did indeed add a bullet control and we've seen this before um, so we're using trigger enter 2d So for the single frame that the object, in this case the bullet, enters another object, which will be referred to as other, if the name of that other object is SG, because that's the name of your playable object, then debug log hit. And what we can do, get rid of that, we can just do and then she'll just disappear. Okay, just as we put a sound effect to the meter being shot down, we're also going to put a sound effect to the bullet being shot out. And it's done basically the same way. So when the object gets instantiated, in this case it's the bullet, the sound will play as long as it's set to play on awake. So just what I did is I, I took a brief break and I added this sound. I just dragged and dropped it from the external folder. So just drag and drop it onto bullet. As you can see, by default, it says play on awake, and it is not looping. So that's it. You just drag and drop the sound effect right onto the object, have it set to play it as a on awake, and that should do it. Oh, it's playing the sound. <laughs> <laughs>